Welcome back guys. My name's Alicia, your luxury kitchen designer. I know I'm a little bit late in the year posting this kitchen trends video. I did have to take a little bit of time off as I just had a baby, but I am back and ready to keep posting more kitchen videos for you guys. This video is a 2024 slash 2025 kitchen trends just because I don't think a kitchen trend should only last a year. So these concepts I'm gonna be talking about in this video will last for the years to come. Okay, so let's just get straight into the video. The first one is a way of adding a little bit more life into your kitchen, making it feel more lived in. And that's to find intentional places for your plants, whether they be real, this one is real. I am trying to keep it alive. You can actually find some really nice faux plants online these days. So don't feel like just to add a bit of life into your kitchen, you actually have to have a real living plant and something else to look after. I think that adding some plants into your kitchen is a really nice way of kind of making a modern kitchen look a lot less cold. So you could have a very sleek, minimalist kitchen, but sometimes it can feel a little bit cold and uninviting. But if you add some plants, real or fake, as I mentioned, you can really bring a cold kitchen back to life. So my next point is kind of moving away from the super minimalist kitchen, making your home, your kitchen feel more lived in by having a little bit more on display. It could be plants, as I mentioned in my first point, but it could also just be some small appliances. Oh, when I say small appliances, I don't mean kind of have your toaster and your kettle and your air fryer all on display. I mean, maybe having, say if you have a nice coffee machine, maybe have your coffee machine out on display, kind of adds a little bit of character to your kitchen, but without adding too much clutter. You could also have some really nice pots on display. So say if you had some Le Creuset pots or a pan wall. I personally wouldn't have a pan wall just because I would then need all of those pans to be pristine if they were on display all the time. I have seen them in other kitchens and they do look great. Moving on to my next point, this one I think is my favorite and it's the use of more natural or imperfect materials in your kitchen. So I think this one, I mean, again, it can be used for your whole house using more natural materials, makes the home feel more lived in. I think with the rise in popularity of Scandi kitchens, the more natural materials have become a lot more sought after. Things like lime washed walls, again, they're imperfect, but it's the texture and using more natural materials is a great way to add warmth. So for example, you could use more wood in your kitchen, whether that be as the worktop, personally not my favorite, to use wood as your worktop. It's just a lot of upkeep. I think a great alternative though, if you did want to have a wood look worktop is you can get some porcelain finishes which have a wood effect. For example, X-Stone do these really amazing finishes and I've seen them in person in their showroom and it looks amazing. You can clad a whole wall, you can clad some doors, it really depends what kind of look you're going for. They can even be used for worktops. Another worktop that I think looks really nice and kind of imperfect but more natural is a plastered effect worktop. Decton actually have about five colours where the worktop looks like plaster. If you come to my showroom in North Finchley, you'll see one of our kitchen displays at the back. We have the Decton Nacra. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I just really like the, the texture and the, the imperfectness of it, let's say. So another natural imperfect material that you could use in your kitchen is a concrete effect. So that could be your kitchen cabinet doors. So at Finchley Kitchens, we have a, con we have a few different um, textured concrete effect doors if you wanted to do the kitchen cabinets in that effect or we could also do the kitchen worktop so caesar stone have a few different worktops they're quartz worktops but they have a really great like faux concrete effect so you get the durability of quartz but then you get the look of concrete which is a really nice option in a more modern kitchen that you want to add some natural features to 
my final suggestion on this topic is to maybe curve some of your edges in your kitchen so whether that be curving your island having some curved units I think it just softens the design. I know this is not for everybody. Curved corners can feel maybe too soft for some people, but if you're going for a kitchen that you want to be quite warm and inviting, maybe a little bit less um, modern, then I think some curved, curved corners can look great. And I think this is maybe something I would like to do in my future kitchen, whether it be having um, kind of like an arch or um, I've seen some arch shaped doors. I think those look amazing. I'm not sure how much they cost, probably an arm and a leg, but I think they look great. But yeah, there's a lot of ways you can incorporate curves into your kitchen. It could also be a curved island. I think maybe an arch, an entry arch into your kitchen is like a nice way to frame your kitchen. My next point on this trends video is to use your kitchen worktop as the feature of your kitchen. So when you see those big kitchen islands with really thick pieces of stone, they're not actually completely, you know, 50, 60 mil thick. It's actually built up. So inside it's actually hollow and then it's just clad in the stone. So a great way of making your kitchen look more grand is to build up your kitchen island if you have a waterfall on each side that's also built up, that's just an extra step above. So using your stone as the main feature of your kitchen is a great way to make a statement. So things you can do with the stone in your kitchen, you can kind of clad your whole island. I have seen quite a few islands which are just one big block and you know the whole island is turned into one big block of stone. I think it looks nice, but practically, then you won't be able to have seating on your kitchen island. Making the top of your kitchen island thicker, maybe having a waterfall, using the stone to clad part of your wall even, I think is a really nice idea. Clad your extractor, you could use stone as your backsplash as well. I usually opt for using the, the same stone that you have as your worktop as your backsplash as well. I think it just creates less um, seams and it's easier to clean. Your worktop material is a quartz or a granite or a porcelain and those are just easy to clean. I feel like I rambled on a little bit on this point, but my point, is, the main point I'm trying to make is to use your stone in more areas of the kitchen, and make them intentional and it will really make your kitchen have a statement and make your kitchen look expensive. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got some great tips if you're planning your kitchen renovation soon. If you're planning a kitchen renovation in London specifically, I would love to design your kitchen for you. Just get in touch. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps me out. I think you'd really enjoy my 2023 kitchen trends video as well. So definitely watch that one next and I'll see you in the next one.